the campaign team of Governor Odomi Manuel of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, arrives at the Benway State Government House and is immediately ushered into the room by counterpart Samuel Otom, where party leaders are waiting to welcome him. Shortly after, the meeting with delegates kicks off and Governor Emmanuel presents his case for the presidency. I'm not the president that is coming to campaign and be telling you how. No, I'm coming to tell you when it comes to creativity, development, capacity, vision, everything. Just come to Udo. In Edo State, Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambuol, also vying for the presidency on the platform of the PDP, is here to share his plans with Governor Gabriel Obasaki. His plans borders on amending policies and encouraging unity. I will engage Nigerians in a dialogue and we shall, uh, as uh, a government, present executive bills where uh, necessary for constitutional amendment to accommodate all of those recommendations that are aimed and targeted at restructuring and promoting fiscal federalism of this country. Governor Tambuol also takes his message to neighboring Delta states. It's not just the PDP making its presence felt in Edo State, as the bus conveying the contestant on All Progressives Congress platform, and Ikiti State Governor Kaede Fayemi cruises into the government house. The pleasantries with his counterpart is cordial and relaxed. Both men excuse themselves for a private conversation and re-emerge to field questions on Governor Fayemi's plans for Nigeria, which he says will be centered on food security. Unless we grow what we eat and eat what we grow, we'll continue to have this shortages we're talking about. So there has to be a concerted effort. In we encourage our farmers to have the confidence that whatever they grow, there will be automatic off-takers. The Senate President Ahmed Lawan, who is also hoping to clink the ticket with the APC, is in Cross River State to visit the state governor, Professor Ben Ayadi, promising that the challenges of security, education, and unemployment will be tackled. We have banditry or terrorism in the Northwest. Here in the Niger Delta, it's largely militancy. I believe that we fight criminals till they submit. There is still a lot of ground for these aspirants to cover. As campaign continues, the office they seek demands they put in the effort to win the votes.